Hey guys, today we are going to answer the question, how can I find the surface area of a 3D shape from nets? So surface area is the outside covering of a 3D figure. So when we fold the 3D figure, figure out into a net, we can find the surface area using that net. So total surface area is the sum of all of the faces of a 3D figure. It can be found by calculating the composite area of the entire net of the 3D figure. And then lateral surface area is the sum of all of the faces except for the bases. It can be found by calculating the composite area of the net minus the bases. So we will just add the lateral faces together for lateral surface area, not the bases. And remember how we identify the bases of nets. If we're looking at a prism, it's gonna have two bases that stick out from the net. And if we're looking at a pyramid, it's going to have one base that is usually in the center of the net. So I went ahead and I shaded the lateral faces blue on all of these shapes. So here's our two prisms, and then I shaded the bases pink. You can see our pink bases sticking out. And then in our pyramids, I shaded the center shape pink since that's the base. So go ahead and pause the video for a minute and shade your lateral faces one color and bases another color if you want it to match mine. So when I find the total surface area, I will be adding the blue, plus the pink faces together. And when I find the lateral surface area, I will only be doing the blue faces. So let's look at this one. It says find the total and lateral surface area of the rectangular prism. So let's start with the lateral surface area. So the lateral surface area is just going to be the blue faces. And each of these rectangles is going to be 10 by five, 10 by five. I have four of those rectangles that are 10 by five. So to find the area of one of those, I would do 10 times five, which is 50. So each of these blue faces is 50 centimeters squared. So to find the lateral surface area, I would do 50 times four, which is 200. So the lateral surface area of this figure is 200 centimeters squared. Then to find the total surface area, I would take those blue faces, which were 200, and now I'm gonna add my bases back to it. So I need to find the area of these pink bases that are sticking out. And they are going to be five by five, which is 25. So each of these faces is 25. So to find the total surface area of this prism, I'll do 200 plus 25 plus 25, which is 250. So the total surface area of this shape is 250 centimeters squared. Okay, let's look at this next one. I wanna find the total and lateral surface area of this triangular prism. So these are the bases since they were sticking out and those are triangles. And then I have my blue lateral faces. And it looks like this one right here. Let's start with this one in the middle. This is 12 by 20. So to find this middle face, I will do 12 times 20 which is 240. So this middle one is 240 meters squared. And then these rectangles right here are going to be a little bit different because they're formed by this side of the triangle right here, which is 10. This would also be 10. So to find these faces, I'll have to do 10 by 20 which is 200, so these are 200 meters squared. So to find the lateral surface area, I would add those three faces together, so I would do 200 plus 240 plus another 200, which would be 640 meters squared. So the lateral surface area is 640 meters squared. 
So then to find the total surface area, I would take those three blue faces, which equaled 640, and I would add the two triangular bases to it. So now I need to find the area of these triangles. So I know that the base of the triangle right here is 12 and the height is eight. They showed us right here that the height of the triangle is eight. So it's 12 by eight. So I need to find the area of the triangle by doing base times height divided by two. So the area of the triangle will be 12 for the base times eight divided by two. And 12 times eight is 96, and 96 divided by two is a 48. So the area of these triangles is a 48. So to find the total surface area, I would do 640 plus 48 plus 48. And 640 plus 48 plus 48 is 736 meters squared for the total surface area. Okay, those were our two prisms where the base is stuck out on the side. Now we are going to find the lateral and total surface area of pyramids. So this time I have triangular lateral faces and then my base is in the center that is shaded pink. So it says find the total and lateral surface area of this rectangular pyramid. So let's start with the lateral surface area. I have four triangles that make up the lateral surface area. So let's start by finding the area of these two triangles here that have a bases of eight and heights of six. So to find the area of those triangles, I will do the base times the height, which is eight times six divided by two. So it'll be 48 divided by two, which is 24. So both of these triangles have areas of 24. Now I'm going to find the area of these triangles, which have a base of six and a height of seven. Base of six and a height of seven. And I will find that by doing the base times the height, so six times seven divided by two. So it'll be 42 divided by two, which is 21. So the area of these triangles are 21. So to find the lateral surface area, I'm going to add those four triangles together, which is 24 plus 24 plus 21 plus 21. So I get 48 plus 42 which is 90. So the lateral surface area of this rectangular pyramid is 90 inches squared. Now I need to find the total surface area. So I'm going to take my lateral surface area, which was 90, and then I just have to add the base back to it. And our base is a rectangle here, which is six by eight. So to find the area of that rectangular base, I'll do six times eight, which is 48. So this area is 48. So to find the total surface area, I just do 90 plus 48, which would be 138 inches squared. Okay, my last one, I'm gonna find the total and lateral surface area of this regular triangular pyramid. This is a huge keyword, regular. That means that all the faces are congruent or the same size and shape. All faces are the same. So I just have to find the area of one of these triangles and that's going to be the area for the rest of them. So they gave me information about the base triangle and that will be the same for the rest of them. So that base of the triangle is eight and the height is six. So to find the area of one of the triangles, I would do eight times six divided by two, which is 48 divided by two which is 24. So the area of all of these triangles is 24. And now I just have to add the correct ones together for the lateral and total surface area. So the lateral surface area would be 24 plus 24 plus 24, just those blue faces 
or you could think of it as 24 times 3, which is 72. So the lateral surface area is 72 centimeters squared. And then the total surface area, I just add that last pink base in, so it'll be 72 plus 24, which is 96. So the lateral surface area, or the total surface area of this regular triangular pyramid is 96 centimeters squared.